hello guys welcome to another video of us i'm glad to see you watching another video of ours my name is scott and this is the ss film so today we're going to be doing a cook video and you're wondering why am i the one cooking i'm going to tell you why where's the wife why is it the one cooking i'm going to tell you why now it's my 10th year anniversary so i've known my wife for one decade <laughs> see or 10 years to get it today we did it for <laughs> We did it for four, been married for six. So this morning, I had surprised her with a breakfast. Thing. If you don't follow us on Instagram, follow us on Instagram because she put it on her Instagram page. Our Instagram is um, Sarah Scott's Kitchen or the SS Fam. That's our Instagram handle. If you want to see what I made her for breakfast in bed, you could see it. Follow us on Instagram and you're going to see that. Now, what am I doing here today? Why am I cooking today? Oh, after surprising her with the breakfast in bed, I thought, okay, what else can I do? We have this food that we make where I come from. It's called yam and pepper soup. Every time, it's mainly where I come, me and my wife, we come from different places, right? But where I come from, this is like a major dish where I come from. And a lot of people like it. So, I don't make it all the time. I make it once in a while. But since it's an anniversary, I'm going to make it for my wife. Because it's special. It's a special day. So, I'm going to make a special meal. See? understand you get yeah yeah, okay, okay. yeah you get now okay so I'm gonna take without wasting your time I'm gonna take you to I'm gonna show you the ingredients that I'm gonna use today it's it's a very easy meal to make oh, cool. you know not much people call it to kodo people call it yam and pepper soup but I'm gonna be making my yam different and I'm gonna be making my pepper soup different but you could cook it together but because my daughter my very precious special daughter doesn't like it when I cook it together so I, I make it separate so that way she enjoys it better when I make it separate I separate the and hot soup from the yam so it's yam and pepper soup or ukodu but most people just call it yam and hot soup if you're not a Nigerian yam and hot soup if you're in Nigeria na ukodu na awanku yam and pepper soup <laughs> So he's actually cooking it because he is good at it. He's okay, very, if you're wondering good. who's talking, that's my lovely <laughs> wife behind. She's the one doing all the filming. Okay, so you see me like so if you see me like with one eye or with one, she's the one that did it. All right. So now <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Like I said, like I know I've known my wife for ten years, right? So she's like my best buddy, my everything, my all in all, and. It's not just because I'm saying it because we're on the camera or because I'm saying it to chill you because I've been with my wife for 10 years. So the, you know that you understand. Like, if you're watching me and you're a guy and you're a dude and you've been with a woman for 10, for 10 years, been with your wife or your special person for 10 years, you know what I talk about. You know what I mean. You understand? <laughs> That's what it is. So, if you know, you know. If you don't know, oh man, oh, wow. You understand? So, now. <laughs> Let's get you to the video. Yeah. Let's get you to the cooking. Yeah. The main reason why I'm here. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the ingredients that I'm gonna be use for this cooking. Boom. Let's go. Um. Now, I'm gonna be using. I already washed my. Um. No, sorry. I'm gonna take that one. Now, I already washed my meats that I'm gonna use. Like it's intestine, goat, cow meats. Um. Into the track. Um. Oh, what do no. they call them? Liver. Whatever. All the intestine of the meats in there and some part of the meat I washed it and this is the yam you understand like now I'm gonna show you the yam now this is the yam that I'm gonna use to use to eat the soup now if you don't know what yam looks like this one is already peeled and it's already it's already peeled so if you don't know what yam looks like this is what yam looks like like you peel the skin off and then you slice it into bits that you like you get yo you get <laughs> now now, okay, oh you get. now, if you know what yam is for every Nigerian guys or me, who like everybody who have eaten yam, you know, who knows what yam is, you know what I mean. But if you don't know what yam is or you've not had yam before, now, just need to try it. You understand? You're gonna like it. Now, I'm gonna be using dry fish, salt. Now, this is now this way it gets tricky. Like in Canada, we live in Ottawa, so in Canada, we have different like this is um the pepper soup spice. I bought it from African shop, but in in Africa we have the real ones, right? We have uwewe eri. Now we have uwewe and <laughs> now we have uwewe and then we have um um eri. That's a, like the main ingredients that we use for this food. These are the stuff that they grind into your meat pepper soup spice, but. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know what they put in this one. Shall we just go to Africa market and we we'll buy that pepper soup spice? I think it's those things. These are the things they put in it, though, boy. Because yeah, you sure. don't see it, because right. you don't know, you're not sure. Yeah. I cannot 100% tell you what, but that's what we use, right? And then I'm going to be using set leaf just to give it a scent. And then this is bonga fish. This is like the, the bonga fish I have like roasted it, burnt it. You're going to see that like it's black and it's burnt and it's roasted. There's a reason I did that. There's a special flavor it gives you when you like roast it or or, or like really dry it up. It gives like a different flavor. So that's that's why I did like that. And then we're also gonna be using crayfish, you know, just to spice it up. Now, if you hear any noise at the background or you hear any babies talking or babies making noise, news flash, I am a father. <laughs> I'm a father of three. Okay, and my kids are actually here with me. So when if you, if they anyone happen to pop pop in this video, <laughs> that's because I'm a dad. Daddy. What a beautiful one. Daddy. Hey, all you dads out there, you understand what I mean. So any of my yeah. kids could come into the video, any of my kids could pop up, and hey, I'm not actually gonna throw them away, my kids. <laughs> so you're gonna see them in the video when they come, or they are my boss. Dad. Anyway, Dad. so now. So now that's one of them. Now, I already Dad, have. Dad, the boss. Yeah, I yeah, understand. All right. Okay, so now, yeah, you're the boss, Ryan, not not me. I'm now, the boss. I I have my pots on the fire with boiling or hot water. It's not actually boiling yet. It's hot water. Okay. So now, what I'm gonna do is put my. What's the Lord? See, he drains everything. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is put my meats in the hot water. I already washed the meats and I already drained them. If you can see, I'm bringing it out of the filter, right? So, so um, I washed my meats, I've drained my meats, and clean the meats, right? So washed it, drained it, and now put it in the pot. For my worry, guys, I'll wash out my drain and I'll put that for pot. You understand? Now, that's what I, now that's what I did. Okay, so now that, that, that's done. What I'm gonna do next is put my dry fish. So I'm gonna put my dry fish in it. Let me go bring the iPad. Yeah. Now, to give it that scent I was talking about, like that flavor I was talking about, I'm now gonna put this fish that I purposely, on purpose, I burnt it. It's called bonga fish. Just to give it like a different um, flavor. It adds like a special flavor to it. So I'm just gonna put it, just gonna put them all. Like so. You know, like that. So, are you following so far? Okay, you're following, I got it. Okay, yeah, nice. My husband has super confidence because he is very good. <laughs> now this is crayfish or shrimps. Sorry, shrimps. You know, you can call it shrimps, you can call it crayfish. Like the African guy call it not crayfish, but this. But you white guys, it's shrimps. Anyway, dried ones. So you just put it in it. Anytime. Okay, for all you shop people, this this on anytime. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now I'm gonna put my pepper soup spice. Just to put that in there. Nice. Let's nice. see. Boom. I'm gonna do a little bit of stir. Now, let's see. Here I already blended my ebi onion and pepper but the reason i did that is that the, when you buy the pepper soup spice from african african store i really don't know what's in it right i know like like you know like i know what's in it in the sense like it's pepper soup spice but just to be guaranteed and just to be sure i just extra to take extra caution i just also grind buy the ones that are not grinded and just blend them all and it gives my my soup a lot of flavor and i'm very confident of the ingredients i'm putting in it all right set understand you get okay you get i trust you oh, 
pot is full. Okay, so now these are seasoning cube. And I'm very sure everybody knows seasoning cube. And for a man, I might excuse the guys if they don't know seasoning cube. For for the ladies, if you don't know, what rock are you living under? All right. So. <laughs> All right. So now this is salt. I'm just gonna salt it up. Salt to taste. Just to make it taste yummy, 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 and nice. So now we cover and let it boil. I already have my pepper soup and everything put in the fire. So now I'm going to put my yam. You understand? I already rinsed the yam. I showed you guys before. I already rinsed the yam. I already sliced it. And I showed you a full one. To tell you like you peel the back off. And then you just you just put it in the fire. So now I'm going to put in my yam. Wait for it to done. So I'm putting the yam. Yeah, good job. Okay, now after putting my yam, I'm gonna put salt. So after I put my yam, I go put salt for my Nigerians. Now I salt it up. And I, mm -hmm. right, so now we cover it up and we let it cook for about like 30 minutes. That's how we run, man. Okay, so now. Let me check my yam and see that it's ready. Put a fork in it and you just push it in and if it goes in, it's ready. So now I'm just gonna sieve the water out of it. All right, so now my soup is boiling. I'm just gonna add a little pinch of pepper. But like you put your pepper with your own discretion, like how hot do you want the soup to be? Me, I want it to be very hot, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of pepper to it, and then I'm gonna add a little seasoning, more seasoning, and then this is Maggi seasoning. I'm just gonna add a little bit to it, and then I'm gonna cover it up to boil. Good. Okay, now my food is almost ready. So now I'm just gonna put scent leaf just for aroma, just to give it that nice scent. All right guys, so I put my leaves, so I'm just gonna leave it, cover it, and leave it for a little while. And then it's ready. Ooh, nice. That's it guys. My pepper soup is ready, so my yam is ready. Well, the soup is ready. Time for us to feast. Okay, the reason I like this is that you can use it to drink. You know, you can just drink it like that normally without using nothing. You can use it to eat rice. You can use it to eat yam that I'm gonna use to eat today. Okay, nice. Pando. Ready. Rice. Ready, ready. It goes with all. I love my husband. No. All right, there you go, guys. That is my finished product of my yam, pepper soup, and palm oil. That's how we eat it. So yam, pepper soup, hot soup, and palm oil. That's the finished product, guys. Okay, so guys. I showed you guys my finished products. This is my finished products. Soup is done. Looks lit. Looks delicious. Looks lovely. Can't wait to dig in it. Just gonna give you guys a taste and a try. It's actually really hot. So I'm just gonna. Hmm. That's the vine. So now, it's time to go serve my wife. So, I can't wait. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. Try it out. Follow the steps that I showed you. Just cook it the same way I did. And tell me how it is, you know, on Instagram. You can leave a comment down below. Tell me how it is when you tried it. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe.
Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye bye. Thanks for all your support, guys. We love you. Thank you. I'm gonna dig into it. I can't wait to dig into it.